All right, guys, if you want the chance to win one of these overmolded AK-47s, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, comment down below, make sure you guys are subscribed, and I'll give these away in next week's video. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Building Vietnam in Lego. Today, I have some very ambitious goals, but I think we're going to be able to get them done, and let's go over those right now. So, first off, if you don't remember in last week's episode, we had to tear some of this up so it was all dark tan because these clear pieces, these trans green pieces were looking really weird because we had some tan plates instead of dark tan plates under them. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the card section up there just so you can kind of catch up. But basically, we got all those plates replaced except for this one over there. And if I turn the camera just a little bit, there's the 16 by 16 plate that went right here. Problem is, I can't use any smaller plates like, you know, this is a 2x8, I think, or 2x10. I can't use anything because this needs to span this really large gap here. It's an overhang because we have this underground tunnel system. So the problem is I don't have any more 16 by 16 plates in dark tan. So I'm probably going to have to, there's one I can kind of see right here that we might have to rip up and get to and steal that and swap it out. So that's going to be our first task is getting that put into place and then adding back all this green here. Once we get that done, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to tile, just like I did here. This was the bad one. You can see through and see the tan there. We want it so you can, it can be consistent. You can see there's a difference in color there. That looks really bad. So I like this look, and uh, basically what I'm going to do is once we get this plate over there, we're going to go through, take these, and we're just going to start filling these in, and then we might even start adding grass detail. So let's go ahead and start with that plate, then I'm going to probably fill in this one and maybe fill in a couple more, and then I'm going to come back and give you guys an update. Okay guys, while I was building this, I thought of a little tip that I could share to you guys. So I normally start off by just starting by laying like a line of six of these plates, and what happens is, I don't know if you can see that but they start to turn to one side. See how they're not straight on? See how these are all perfectly straight? So what I do is I take a brick, I just have a two by eight here, and I take it and you kind of use it, um, it's kind of difficult to show at one hand, but you basically try to push it down. So you basically push it down right next to the plates like that. Then you take it up. Now they're straight and perfectly 90 degrees and perpendicular. And then you can come in and you can start doing your next batch. And then everything will be straight from there. Because you start by putting some down and you really have no reference point unless you start from the edge. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit. One other thing I wanted to show you guys. So I started on this section right here. And I start in the middle and then I work my way out. Normally you would pick an edge and you would start working along it, but what I chose is to start from the middle. The reason for that is if I want to change this layout of any kind, then I have to tear up like, for example, if I move over here, all these studs I'd have to remove just to change this around. So if I work on the middle here and then I can start and you know, if I need to change something, it's much easier. So I start from the center and I work my way out. Once I get to about here, I look at this, double check, say, okay, you know, does this look good? Am I happy with this? And then I'll continue to take these and fill that in. Okay, here's an update. It's been a couple hours. Got this one filled in, this one filled in, and this one. So we've got four total, but I started looking at this, right? And the original idea was to have eight of them, four in the front and four further back. Now, the more I look at this, I realize that would look too symmetrical and it just wouldn't look good in my opinion. So I'm thinking we're gonna change that plan up a little bit. So like I said, original thought was do eight of them. I think that would look not so good. And the other issue was if I did two over here, like I was originally planning right here and here, that'd be really close to the city section, almost too close. There's gotta be a little bit of grass and then the rice fields. It can't just be kind of an abrupt, there's the rice fields, there's the city. I think that would look too like staged, I guess. And then same with coming down the hill, then like right at the bottom of the hill, there'd be two. So I'm thinking, what if I, you can see I set some plates down to cover this up for you guys to kind of visualize with me. Let me pick up the camera here. This is what it would look like with four. I, and then the other issue is I'm running out of these. This is all I have left. So this right here is like 60, $75 worth of these little parts. And I don't want to spend another 60, $75 just to make four more that honestly, I don't think would look that good. So I'm wondering, 
I might put these down and do this one. That way it's not symmetrical and there's just four of them. Let me know what you guys think of that. And then uh, I might tear this up and make this thinner so it looks better. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and plate those over just so it looks better. I hope you guys understand. I know a lot of you guys wanted to do eight of them. But I think now that I pointed this out, maybe you guys will kind of understand and maybe come to my side of the agreement. But I'm going to go ahead and work on that now. And uh, my goal for this video is to get this done, these completely used up if we can, basically finish, finish this off so we can start either doing some grass work or working on this section back here. So that's kind of the goal. So I'm going to get back to it and I'll come back to you guys like I always do. All right, guys, this is what I got. So I finished up these sections here. I went ahead and modified this so it'd be more of a thinner walkway like I originally had it. Um, the reason it was so thick in this center is because we actually had the thinner walkways over here and over here. So this would actually be the center of those eight. So I had to modify that. I might modify right here. I don't like the way this transitions. So I'll probably remove this plate right here. Make that more of a nice curve. Maybe down here as well. You know, another thing I got to keep into consideration is we're going to be using a lot of plant pieces like mainly these guys here, these bamboo pieces as I drop it on the ground. But we'll be able to hide some of these transitions and uh, make it look a lot better and more natural. So I'm not too worried about it, but there's a couple things I still want to modify. And then I went ahead and I completely covered both this side and this side with plates. Some of these I need to press down a little bit more, but other than that, they are in place. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some parts on BrickLink, some grass pieces, some more of these. Um, these are just some generic bush pieces in normal green. And then some of these pieces for some trees. We'll talk about that later in the episode, but uh, that's what we're working on and I will keep you guys posted. Okay guys, I actually made almost all of these bigger actually. I don't know if I touched this one. I think I did, but basically I made this one a lot longer. It comes over further and it comes closer to the edge of the mock. This one I expanded. This one I expanded up to the top right. This one I expanded to the top left. Basically, I was like, you know what? We have extras of these. We might as well make these. If we're not doing eight, let's do four like medium-sized ones versus eight smaller ones. So that's what I went ahead and did there. And uh, I overall think it looks pretty good. So what I'm doing now, as you can see, is I'm starting to come in here with my grass pieces and bamboo pieces. I'm kind of going around the perimeter of the mock with the bamboo and then, or not mock, but the uh, little water... I don't know what these are called. I need to do some research so I know some technical technical terms, but uh, this is kind of what I'm doing. I'm gonna do that around all of these, and then I might just start going to town with grass on the rest of this, but I'm not too sure yet. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update. This is what it looks like now. So I did make these bigger, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, guys, couple things. One, this is really overexposed because of all this green, and it looks way brighter than it is. It's actually dark, but it's like, Whoa, that's really overexposed. Anyways, this is what I got going on. So I'm continuing to work on these. You can see I'm building around those, but I got sidetracked and I really wanted to start laying some of the other things out on the mock so you guys can start to visualize with me kind of what else is planned for this section at least. So I added the Huey chopper, now chopper, chopper, and uh, this has always been sitting here and it's mainly just for like a reference of scale. And I think this is about where we're gonna place it and you can see I did a grass ring. I just took the generic Lego grass pieces there. And basically what I did is I positioned the helicopter where I wanted it, facing where I wanted it and all that good stuff. Then I basically was just looking at a bird's eye view and just kept spinning this. And I basically just put down grass all the way around it. And uh, that's kind of my layout. Now the reason for this is most of this mock is gonna have grass on it at least that's in this section, obviously not in the city, but in this section there will be grass. And what I wanted to do, because I've seen on a couple other Vietnam builds, is people that have helicopters, what they'll do is they'll push the grass back and like the shape of the rotors, because when these things landed, obviously the blades and all the wind generated would push the grass off to one side. And I think this would look really cool if we stopped the grass, you know, in a kind of like a perfect circle. We might make it a little bit less perfect so it looks better, but uh, that's kind of the gist of it. And I'm curious to see what you guys think of it. Do you guys like how this is positioned on the mock? Do you like where the helicopter is? 
I might be building a little bird or a smaller helicopter and maybe have it coming in flying somewhere else. I'm not too sure yet. I just don't really have room for two Hueys because they're so big. You know, I could maybe put another one flying up above on stilts, but uh, I don't know if I'm willing to do that or not. But uh, that is something I worked on. And then over here, this is kind of what I've talked about in I think it's two or three episodes ago, having a tree line back here. Now, this might be affected by where this helicopter is because obviously it needs clearance. It's not gonna just land where there's trees at. But these are just to symbolize, I'm thinking of doing some trees that are pretty tall and um, just different colors and whatnot in the back here. And then once again, there'll be grass and whatnot all throughout here. So that's kind of something I've been working on. One of the projects I have, if I go over here, let me grab these here. These are the three pieces that I'm gonna be ordering. I have plenty of normal grass pieces, but I don't have a lot of these. And I think these are gonna be extremely useful on the mock. So these are gonna be for the trees. I'm gonna order these in a couple different colors. These I need to order because it's just a little bit different from a generic grass piece and it kind of breaks it up a little bit. So I'm going to order some of those and then order some more of these in green. I have a bunch in tan and dark tan, but we're probably not going to use those. So I need to order some more in green. So those are sitting on my desk. That is on my to-do list. And um, I will order those probably after this episode goes up on Sunday. So I'm going to keep working on this. I'm not too sure what else I'm going to work on in this video. I'm just going to keep working and I'll, I'll, you know, if anything comes up, I'll definitely show you guys like I did just now. So, all right, back to work. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. I don't really know what to do here other than I know I want to do trees back there, but I'm in, I need some help in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think I should do here. This is what I started to do was just some stacked up bamboo pieces, if this will focus or if I break it on camera. but. I don't know how tall I want them to be because there's a figure, right? There's a Jeep for size comparison. I obviously want it to be taller than that. But do I want to do something like that, just really dense all the way back? And then maybe have some like little trails back here that Vietnamese soldiers and whatnot can be then? I don't really know. So let me know in the comments down below. I really need some help with thinking that through. In the meantime, I worked on this little tree design. I saw this on Instagram. I don't know if I did it right, but it's it's it works is basically what it comes down to. But I'm gonna I talked to the guy on Instagram, and uh, hopefully I can get some feedback. And uh, he was gonna send me a breakdown of one of these other tree models. So I'm really excited about that. But it's pretty basic just using one by one round bricks in reddish brown and then using some of these plant leaves. So basically picture those, a really dense patch of them in a bunch of different colors. That's what I'm thinking about there. But yeah guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do back there. We're probably gonna cut to the giveaway winners right now. All right guys, we're picking the winner from episode 13. We have 415 users, that's quite a few. We clicked this three times, third person is the winner. All right, Shelia Rexon, wow, amazing so far. Probably totally destroyed and butchered that name, but it's okay. You are the winner. All you have to do is send me an email to my website, which is x39brickcustoms.com. Go ahead through the contact form and uh, with your name, address, all that good stuff, and then a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube channel, and we can get that figured out. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for episode 14 of building the Vietnam battle in LEGO. I think we're making great progress. Taking a step back and looking at this, it looks really awesome and I'm really excited for the future of this mock. I really love what we did here, especially from this angle where the light hits it. It looks like actual like swampy water, so I'm really excited about that. Really excited to finally place the Huey Chopper, get some of these trees over here to the left going. And then like I said, I need some help on what I should do up on the hill section. But other than that, we're making great progress. Thank you guys for the continuous support. Once again, if you want a chance to win one of those overmolded weapons, all you have to do is leave a like comment down below make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to subscribe i'll put a link right there that little circle if you want to check out last week's episode i'll put a link right there check out the complete playlist right there and uh, other than that take care guys stay safe stay out of trouble and i'll see you next sunday for episode 15.